Hello everyone and welcome to Kryptonite, the crypto investor channel. I'm Boris, so let's dive in. I'm with Colton today. Hello, Colton. Hey, Boris. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the Kryptonite channel, everyone. Let's dive right in. We're going to go over the crypto market for the past, uh, you know, past couple months. And my first question for you today, Boris, is, is, you know, for the past month, you know, month to three months, the market has been sideways. Why has it been sideways? Well, I mean, first of all, we came from a very low number back in uh november 22 which was fifteen thousand dollars then it really started ripping if we look at one year you know it's pretty clear that as of october last year in october 23 we were at twenty six thousand. so it went up 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 and it went all the way up to about 74,000. And at some point that becomes unsustainable. The market has to breathe. It has to uh, digest all those gains. You can't just keep on going up. So uh, what's funny is like people feel that one, yes, it is kind of boring, but this is what markets do most of the time is go sideways the the reaping part the part where they go up is actually usually very fast and uh doesn't last very long it only lasts a few months um but you know over the past seven days we're up slightly because seven days ago we're at sixty three thousand. now we're 66 600. if we take a month still very sideways we're at sixty four thousand three hundred on june 23rd you know, and uh, today we are June, tw we're July 23rd. And in one month, we basically have gone from 64. Now, of course, we had a little dip all the way down to 53, but we came right back up, you know, and we're back at 66, 700. Uh, over three months, same story in April. 66,600. I mean, gee, we are $100 off from three months ago. And then in the meantime, we went down in the mid low 50s, back up to 71, back down to 53, back. It's just going sideways. And it's just what the market does to digest. That's also the reason why you don't see us do a whole lot of videos. Some other channels, they sell you you know clickbaits and all that kind of stuff oh yeah the market is about to rip oh it's going to the moon that's it you know you know every week every other day we stop doing videos because we know the market's going to keep on going like this for some time and the the there is nothing really to report this is the time where you just sit on your hands and wait for things to happen but uh yeah uh market has been very very stable you know pretty much uh if we go back to uh even march you know march 20th so march 22nd so pretty much four months ago we were at sixty three thousand five hundred. so just up and down little up and downs you know between 53 and 71 but it's just going sideways Thank you for that information, Boris. And I know you can't really predict the future, but you know, what is your idea when it is going to go up and stop going sideways, you know, for, you know, months at a time at the end of the day, Boris? Well, summers usually, you know, and, and uh, basically here I'm going off of history and what happened in the past, which, you know, doesn't always d do the exact same thing, but it tends to, to do something similar or something a little bit in the same spirit so usually august is a month where you have the same little ups and downs not a ton of activity on the market so to me i think august we're gonna keep on some oscillation between uh ups and downs between the the, the you know mid 50s really worst case scenario probably more like low 60s to up 70s you know and we're gonna keep on going that way for the remainder of july probably august and i wouldn't be surprised that september is not crazy either now at some point starting let's say around mid-september to mid-october that's when we're gonna start seeing the market uh resume its uptrend so 
by October, I would say strongly uh, October would look probably very good. And then, of course, there are the U.S. elections. That's going to be uh, a big thing. If Trump is elected and doesn't matter, I mean, it's not a preference of, you know, Democrats or Republicans. It's just the fact that uh, Trump is more pro crypto than the Democrats. You know, if it is Harris that uh, runs for president or if it is another Democrats, Democrats don't like crypto that much. They're more friends of the banks in general. So, um, so most likely if it is uh, Trump elected, that means Gary Gensler is gone. The SEC will have a pro crypto person at its head. Things are going to get a lot more pro crypto in the US, which would be very, very good. And it will probably propel the price to much higher numbers. We'll probably break the 100K at some point by anywhere between October and Christmas. That's probably going to be the thing. Now, the other thing to keep in mind, <clears throat> depending on how, you know, the uptrend goes if it is brutal or if it is uh, going up, but at a good pace, but not a crazy pace. The whole thing might last anywhere between four to about six months. And by then, which that would take us anywhere between, let's say, January and March of next year around that time frame that will probably be kind of the top of the market now as you see the numbers go up 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 that's where uh i would probably take quite a bit of profit i mean on my side i will probably start selling you know at 100 120k starting taking some profits and accelerate the profit taking as it goes further and further up because the further up it goes, the less sustainable it is. And then people always cry because they see price ripping. Like last time they saw it going from, like we saw a year ago, you know, going from, let's say 25, 26, all the way up to 74. And at 74, they think like it's keep on going up. It'll go to 90, it'll go to 120, it'll go to 150, it'll go to 200. Yeah, it can go to the moon, but the problem is at some point you have to take profit because there are retracements. But that's what I'm thinking most likely the market will do. Now, of course, I could be wrong and this is not financial advice, but that's what I think uh, given all the other uh previous bull markets we've had, that's the uh, the most likely scenario. Of, of things happening. Thank you, Boris. Now, my next question for you is, you know, what, what happens next? You know, what are we supposed to do? Should we buy, should we hold, or should we sell at the end of the day, Boris? What those prices, and once again, you know, uh, not financial advice, but me, I will keep on pro buying on those type of prices. I will probably wait to, for a little retracement back down if I see price lowering back to 60 or, going into the 50s high 50s i would probably recharge some more uh i would probably not buy if it goes all the way up to 71 because that pro probably will go back down but in those little dips i will keep on buying you know a little more a little more uh, because obviously when most likely it will rip in october you'll be like wow i'm glad i bought a little bit more at 60 because now it's at 90 or it's at 100 uh, so that's what i would do you don't have to probably one of the best thing you can do is not to look at the price too much enjoy the summer sit on your hands wait for this thing to rip and um and that's it so most likely you can either huddle or you could just buy a little more but wait for little dips because uh you know we see that all the time it goes back up to 70 gets rejected comes back down to 60 or sometimes uh maybe even in the 50s 
I don't think we'll see a ton of 50s too much anymore. You know, we might see high 50s, like 58, 59. Unless there is really, a really, really bad news, I don't think we're going to see too much of the low 50s anymore. So me personally, I will start buying if we are around 60 or, or below and just DC a little more, you know, just to acquire a few more coins uh, until probably September. And then when it starts ripping in September, that's it, I'm done. I will look at the next thing, which is to DCA out, to start selling on the way up, you know, to, to take some, uh, some profit. So that's pretty much it. We'll probably won't have um, too many more videos for the time being. We'll probably do some update around mid late uh, August uh, to see where we at and see how things are progressing. And when times will be more interesting, we'll probably be doing more videos, especially uh, on the good times to exit the market. That's it for today. Good summer to everybody. Thank you, Colton. And we look forward to see you all in about a month uh, on Crypto Night. I hope this video helps. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video at the end, click on the thumbs up.